Hi everyone, it's Nicola here from Glasgow Live. We're back at Lock Skin with Dr Q because we're going to chat about cheek fillers this time. So I will give you a warning if you're a wee bit funny with needles, maybe look away, check back every once in a while. We're going to have a little chat with Dr Q now just to see all the ins and outs of cheek fillers. And Shona is here today and she's going to demonstrate for us when she has her cheeks all beautifully plumped up. <laughs> so just talk us through what we're going to be doing here. Right, so today we'll do cheek fillers. So we're going to use uh, this Juvederm Voluma. Mm -hmm. so that's uh, quite sort of strong filler okay. for, for sort of cheeks and jaw and chin area as well um, as opposed to lip fillers which is a bit more sort of a lighter filler mm -hmm. so what we're going to do is we're going to place the sort of duodenum voluma along the sort of cheek um, bone if you like you uh -huh. know, so that will just give it a good sort of contour all uh, right okay. when you're putting sort of makeup on and things like uh -huh. that sort of contour so uh gives it more sort of definition more contour uh, and just gives it more sort of like a, a radiant look um so you have to be careful putting cheek fillers not to put too much at the front because mm -hmm. people who have too much at the front that's when you know they end up with a sort of chipmunk or the hamster oh, kind of uh -huh. so puffed out cheeks on, yeah and then the smile it gets even worse mm -hmm. you know? so you have to be sort of careful around this area if somebody is really sunken in then it's fine otherwise you know it's best sort of just putting a small amount and not too much uh -huh. but this area would probably sort of produce the best result mm -hmm. um so we'll just get going with it yeah. yeah are you excited Sean? how do you feel yeah Totally not nervous. No. <laughs> You've had different fillers before. I have had, yeah. I've had my lips done and I've had um, tear drops done before in the mind. So you're fully prepped and ready. <laughs> so what we're going to use is a cannula. So we'll just place the filler along this white line here. Mm -hmm. So we just sort of clean this area here and just use this to puncture the skin. You're not squirming in agony. I assume that's not <laughs> too hideous. No, not at all. And that's basically a cannula, just so like a blunt needle. So you can just sort of around it. So obviously, if someone's opting to have cheek fillers, it should really be done by someone who fully knows exactly what well, they're yeah, doing. I mean, any kind of medical procedure um, should really be done with, by someone who is who's trained, because um, if side effects happen or mm -hmm. any kind of sort of complications happen you need to be able to sort of deal with them you know mm -hmm. um i mean they are sort of pretty safe as far as cosmetic treatments go it's one of the sort of um lowest um rate of sort of complications or right, uh -huh. side effects and stuff because it's not really surgery mm -hmm. um but i mean it's still a medical procedure so mm -hmm. so how much filler is actually going to show his cheeks just now so I'm just going to put basically half a mil okay. uh, on each side. So each syringe is one mil. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to put about a half a mil. Right, um, so it's really quite minimal yeah. for like a really mm -hmm. beautiful natural look. Yeah, I mean, you can put sort of one mil on each side. depends mm -hmm. sort of um, on your sort of preference and what kind of look you want to achieve. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think um, in Shona's case, half a mil would be, would be ample. Um, so why would someone go ahead and choose to have cheek fillers? What are the sort of top reasons? Um, it's basically sort of to give it more definition, look more youthful sometimes mm -hmm. with time um, or just your sort of make genetic makeup kind of thing mm -hmm. or if you've lost a lot of weight uh, you can get like a sunken appearance of the okay. face um, and that can make you look like you know quite sort of uh, tired or aged or, mm -hmm. um, so cheek fillers is quite a simple procedure to get done mm -hmm. so as you can see we place the filler around here uh -huh. um, and then basically just going to just massage that in so that okay. it's... Um, and something like this shouldn't yeah. be shouldn't be screaming in agony, I assume. No, I mean... No, it's quite a low sort of pain yeah. procedure. Um, so, I mean, the cannula is it's not sharp. Mm -hmm. okay? um, so you feel a bit of tugging. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't sort of cut through anything. All right, uh-huh. So it's, uh, it's not a cutting cannula. It's, it's a blunt cannula. So it basically just um, finds its way All right, uh -huh. tissues and pushes things aside rather than goes through them. Oh, that's you know? good then, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Um, so it's quite quick then to have cheek fillers done. Uh, yeah, I mean the procedure, um, after you sort of prepared, uh, the patient it doesn't really take very much mm -hmm. long. So how much would this sort of treatment cost then? Uh, so each mil is about, uh, is 375. Okay. So if you're just getting one mil, then it's basically 375. 375, yeah. yeah. 375, if you're getting two mils, then it's sort of 750. Mm -hmm. um, but what uh, Shona's getting then, that's basically 375. 
So how long would these results last for Shona? Um, results, fillers, uh, your, your body would sort of metabolize it and break it down over a period of the, up to 18 months, they say. Oh, right, but okay. I would say 9 to 12 months is um, sort of in standard. most cases, yeah. Mm -hmm. And some people who metabolize it slowly, it mm -hmm. can be sort of 18 months. Yeah. Um, right, so, 18 years ago. funny thing that it almost looks as if that's the most terrifying needle but Shona's not mm -hmm. squirming or screaming or anything she's just you look like you're very relaxed having this done. Yeah, I think she's in a, a happy place. <laughs> yeah. So when do the results start to present? Is it instant or is it maybe like because with chin fillers it was almost yeah. like two weeks? Yeah I mean you can see the results straight away. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to come down to okay. the other side. Yeah you can see the results straight away but um, it still takes about sort of two weeks for the filler to integrate with the skin um, and become part of it. So again, we're just putting like a, almost like a thread of filler rather than a big um, bolus. Mm -hmm. So it's quite an intricate procedure. You're knowing exactly where you're placing that filler. Yeah, with fillers, um, you have to place it in the sort of right place. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you won't get the result you're after. Um, so this is going right above the bone, really. Okay. Um, if you place it too superficially, mm -hmm. then um, it can appear a bit sort of lumpy. Right, um, okay. And you don't get the sort of same sort of aesthetic look. Mm -hmm. um, Did you find cheap fillers are really good for sort of contouring the face and adding sort of lift where it needs to be? Yeah, other thing what cheap fillers do is because you're sort of putting filler around here, mm -hmm. um, it also sort of lifts the face up like that. Right, so okay. Uh -huh. sort of lines, the nose to mouth lines, they lift up a little bit as well. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Yeah, so um, not only does it give you sort of contouring, it also sort of pushes the face back. Right, so, uh -huh. um, for people who get sort of prominent nose to mouth lines rather than mm -hmm. filling the lines directly, because right. that can give a quite a heavy appearance here. Uh -huh. uh, putting sort of filler in the cheek area um, gives a sort of better, sort of more sort really? of natural looking appearance, you know. So is that something you would discuss at a consultation and if someone said I'm having yeah. issues with maybe lines here, you'd say, well yeah. actually, you would get a better result with a cheek yeah. filling? Yeah, I mean sometimes people would say, you know, they want some more prominent cheeks, mm -hmm. and that's fine. Uh, other times they would come with... <laughs> <as well. laughs> yeah. Trying to have a conversation here about yeah. cheek fillers. Um, other times they would say, you know, like, this part of my face bothers me. Uh -huh. And then you would sort of uh, speak, say to them, you know, how to address that. Mm -hmm. uh, so if they say, you know, the face is... Uh, these lines are bothering me, then I would say put some filler in the cheek to push it back and then maybe a small amount in the okay, line uh -huh. rather than just um, a direct approach, you know, so I think that's hard. Fantastic, so how do you feel Shona? Yeah, good, excited to see the results. Yeah, gorgeous. You wouldn't even tell that, I mean, obviously we could see it and you couldn't and it was a big needle on your face, but it doesn't look as if your face has been toyed around with too much. Nice <laughs> <laughs> natural, natural look. So if you want to find out more about cheek fillers or get in touch with Dr Q, then just click on the link to his website and you'll be able to find out more. I'll see you again soon. Bye.